What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Matter series. They just released a crossbow for Cold War. Uh, it was in the store last night in Warzone, but uh, it couldn't be equipped until like this morning when the update finally rolled out. And in that update, they decided to buff the shovel, not even like two days after I get it gold. They decided to buff it the day I put out my shovel video. So you know, that's pretty cool. And they also went ahead, just to spite me a little bit more, added knife fight 3v3, which would have been very helpful the other day. But I mean, if you, if you got melee weapons to do, that's the place to do it. Anyways, like I said, I bought the crossbow a bundle last night couldn't equip it in more zone it wasn't here in black ops what now it is so we have the bundle we can't get levels or anything on it yet to unlock it you need to get three one-shot kill medals in 15 different games hopefully use just using our blueprint for the crossbow will help us unlock the crossbow but if not i have my tundra on the class but this is good news for people that are working towards dark matter and haven't touched the special and melee weapons yet because i think now you should be able to use the crossbow in place of m79 to get diamond on your knives and special weapons so I, if you're still working towards dark matter i'd probably use the crossbow I haven't even touched the crossbow yet, but I know it's going to be better than the M79. I'm curious on what the challenges are for this. Only kill 30 enemies, 50 long shots, 2 kills without dying, destroying equipment with it. Uh, that's a little weird. Behind cover kills with the crossbow? That, I mean, that's kind of bad, but not that bad. Three score streaks or enemy vehicles. How much damage does this thing do? Okay, so if you have to start equipment with this thing, I don't know. It's gonna be tough to get gold actually. And the only the only attachment you can change is the optic, or will they allow me to have more once I've leveled like leveled the weapon up? If you can only change the optic with this thing, destroying kill streaks and the stuff is gonna be tough unless this thing does so much damage and I don't know it yet. But that's enough talk. Let's get into a game. I'm hoping this thing isn't awful to use like the shovel was. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got that. This is a blueprint, but I know a lot of people are gonna be trying to use this crossbow today take that okay this thing's kind of nice oh yeah uh-huh this thing's fast and it's a one-shot kill this is sweet uh-uh i'm not peeking that okay let me leave i'm gone goodbye okay how do i can i curve the bullet oh, i can't aim Okay, I just realized I'm gonna need scavenger on this class. I still have this class set up for using the shovel. This is a way different weapon. I think this is gonna be a really good secondary though. So if this is a one-shot kill as a secondary, I know there's shotguns and everything, but this has range. Ooh. Let's go. This crossbow is nice. It's like, it's almost hit scan. If you're accurate. All right, we'll take that tomahawk if we can't aim. Ooh. That was a headshot. I aimed for his nipple. Uh-oh. Nope. There we go. How big of a arch does this have? How, how can I get some long shots with this? So I saw on Twitter last night that uh, PlayStation's coming out with uh, the PS5 VR. And those controllers look sick. They're like... Uh, they're kind of like the index controllers if they went around your whole hand. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see how VR evolves. If it's just like a, a fad in gaming or if it becomes like the way gaming is or just another facet of it. So I know they'll never like shy away or like stray away from just straight up PC games and like console games and things like that. Like the, the, the kickback games. Or I'm curious to see if VR becomes like a big staple. And you know, PlayStation and you know, them making it more accessible, you know, having it available on their console is, is really nice. And those controllers look fire. Ooh, you can hip fire this thing. Let's go. But anyways, it seems like PlayStation has just left xbox behind in the dust with like their way of innovating gaming like i i grew up on xbox xbox all i had i've had xbox 360 i've had an xbox one uh i stopped playing xbox to switch to pc so xbox is all i've known i've never owned a playstation you know i've played it at friends houses and things but they they far and away have demolished xbox like you know maybe in the early years like the 360 days they might have beat them there because you know they they had all the pop and exclusives like like halo and gears of war but then they they never made any more they just stuck with like those games and then you know whatever titles would go on both consoles they'd have as well like i haven't really been excited for an xbox exclusive in a long time but i see these like playstation exclusives like you know the last of us and you know, god of war and that makes me want to get like a playstation because i i feel like i've missed out on a lot of those those titles 
Like, even though, like, the console war is just, like, full of shit, it's just people like, oh, I grew up with this, so I stand for this company, or, you know, I, I mainly use this, so I, this is better. If we're, if there's actually a console war and we're actually deciding, I think PlayStation has won it. And that's, that's coming, that's coming from a, an Xbox turned PC kid. Ooh, this thing's kind of clean. The whole design of those VR controllers and everything, like everything about it looks nice. So I'm hoping that has some influence on the VR industry. You know, I've, if you guys have watched my other Road to Dark Matter videos, you've seen, like, or you've, you've heard me talk about like me getting an index and like all the issues I had with that. Uh, I have one now, like I, I returned mine. They sent me a new one. Like, it, it works fine now. It, it's really, it's really nice. But if PlayStations is anywhere near that, especially with uh, like controls are a big thing. We're one of the main reason why I got the index over like an Oculus or something or like a, a HTC. So if, if they can get this down, PlayStation is going to become like a powerhouse. I hope it doesn't end up like the PlayStation 4 VR where it's more of a gimmick. They have like three games for it. But, you know, I I want Xbox to you know throw their hat in the ring. Maybe try a VR like they they tried connect and it failed miserably. And then they just gave up from there. They haven't they haven't tried to do anything like innovative after that because like like xbox or hate xbox like you're a playstation stand a sony stand whatever like even if you don't like xbox you need that competition because if playstation just far away beats xbox they go like out of business like they stop making consoles they stop innovating playstation's gonna let off the gas and then we're just gonna be stuck with a bunch of lackluster shit but first game with a crossbow 34 kills some more tomahawks uh, a few snipes here and there pretty good i didn't check if it gave me the one shot one kill medals like I, I i didn't notice that any popped up so let's check and see if we can actually unlock the crossbow using the crossbow oh we're almost done with our battle pass tier 99 i gotta use that reactive pharah let's check this class oh yeah it does count so we can use the crossbow to unlock the crossbow the more you know but i can't unlock any levels or anything for it so far so good with the crossbow it's it seems like it's a really good gun i just need to like once i get good with it and i can figure out like the long shot ranges how i need to arc it it seems like it doesn't have the greatest arc uh maybe that'll be different in Warzone. maybe you know after i unlock it and i'm able to level it up you can add different like cables and other things to up the range up the damage but once i get nice with this it's over. The, the sticks and stones class is going to go crazy. But I can't believe the fucking... The audacity. They they dropped the shovel in the game. You know, it's there for what? Like a week? Maybe a week and a half? We finally get it gold. And then they're like, okay, now we'll fix it. They, they forced us to go into hardcore for even the challenges to be possible. They wait for us to get it gold. And they're like, okay, all right. Now let's make it a one shot. Let's up the speed. I don't think my relationship can ever be repaired with the shock or with the shovel there's there's no way because that was one of the most awful grinds that was like that was probably like just a tier under doing the launchers actually maybe a few tiers i'm probably just being dramatic but that thing was not good crossbow however is nice like we get some fast reloading attachments on this thing get some range on it nothing stopping this thing can you pick up your bolts? Oh, you can. Either that or that was, that was a scavenger pickup. No. Oh, that was so bad. It came out of nowhere. Okay, this guy back here, I know he's going to be chilling here sniping. Oh, his pal's moving up. Sit down. This one isn't for you. Hold on. Please don't kill me, fucker. Okay. I arced it a little high there. There we go. Just gotta aim a little up. I think I, I've been overestimating the, the arrow drop. Get out of here. Ooh. Nasty. Get out of my house. Ooh. What is this? No. Then we get sniped to end it. Okay, you missed one shot with it though. You're kind of fucked. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. Perfectly led that shot. Oh, we gotta get the shot. I gotta try a long shot. Nope. Give me one more try. 
Ooh, the flick. This dude said, oh, there's there's a there's a new crossbow in the game. Okay, I'll use the AK-74U. I think the crossbow is definitely going to be a fun grind. As long as uh, I, once you start getting attachments, you can up like maybe explosive bolts or something like they did in Modern Warfare. His name was I don't snipe, but he had a sniper. He was lying. Okay, I'm I might be aiming just a little too high still. Get off there. Nice. I think I got that guy way in the back. This thing versus AUG, not that great. As a secondary, this thing's fire. Hit fire is nice on it. If you can get the long shots down on it, this thing's going to be a problem. Get out of here. Somebody's got a peek. There it is. Nope. Nope. So many missed shots with this thing. I gotta just slow it down. You can't play fast with this. I can't play fast with it until I learn it. There we go. Slowing it down helps. Hey, 39 and 28. I think we basically got the same score in back-to-back -back games. All right, so, so far, this seems really fun. It's way better of a gimmick weapon than the shovel is, or was. I guess the shovel's probably better now. I just don't want to look at it anymore. It's got range. It, it's a crossbow. I mean, what do you want from it? It's supposed to be really gimmicky. We've just been lurking in this house. Eat that tomahawk. Ooh. Not nah, ooh. I did not see you sitting there. Yep, easiest trick in the book. People keep going to the same spot. Oh. Oh, that was crazy. He was sprinting and everything. Nice try. Get out of here. Let's go. Also, uh, I want to I wanna mention... <clears throat> Ooh, hit him as I was clearing my throat. But I want to mention, for those of you waiting for the, the RPG uh, camo deep dive, that will be coming. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to sit there and... When I make those videos, those are like the precursors to the guides. I will be back to doing guides. But I want to make sure that I have like all my ducks in a row that I'm actually giving out like good information and that I'm I'm trying actual strats that could help get like the launchers done. So that'll be probably coming next week. I'm going to try to record it this weekend. He's standing so still and we couldn't hit him. So uh, I apologize for the long delay in between the, the camo deep dives, but I will be back to it. I just want to I just want to make sure I have everything right, because the, those the camo deep dive recordings take longer than like normal you know, road to dark matter recordings or just any like other kind. It's, it might be close to zombies, but zombies I don't really have to prepare ahead of time for. I just need to, you know, to play it. Ooh. Oh, so I'm going to try to get a schedule going of different types of videos all throughout the week. I'll be trying to do like a few road to dark aethers a week and then like switching it to like the multiplayer challenge series. Oh, dude, we're just getting feed. I should have ran. I sat right next to that nade, but I'll be trying to switch between like the multiplayer challenge series to the road to dark aether to the camo deep dives. You know, all, all, all that good stuff and try to get everything in order. Maybe sprinkle in a war zone every here and there. But camo deep dives are coming. Just, just, just wait. We didn't do too bad that game. We're actually getting some feed. All right. So overall first impression, I like it. You know, the crossbow is fun. It's something different and it's not bad. It's pretty good. Actually, once we get the hang of it, I think it'll just be deadly. It with dark matter on, it's going to look really nice. I'll give you guys a, a sneak peek at it. That's it. Gold. Gold's decent. Diamond looks cool. Dark matter looks nice. Uh, we'll get there. We still have to go through and unlock it. Also, uh, let me know how you guys been, how you guys been feeling about the daily uploads. I've been busting my ass trying to get things out as fast as I can for you guys. So, uh, hopefully you appreciate it. I will be trying to spread in some of the other series uh when we get the camo deep dives back going and you know, try to help you guys out a little bit but if you like this video go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't dislike if you're new here sub we're on the we're on the road to 100k now uh merch in the description if you're interested and uh i'll see you guys later